Hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It has been quite some time since I have filmed so if I'm kind of all over the place uh, you know forgive me but um, this may be a little bit of a longer video because I have not filmed for literally I'm going on I'm gonna guess two months I don't I don't remember um, just between work and life I've been super busy I have a little flyaway here. It's driving me nuts. Right now, I'm, you know, battling something going on. It's going through my whole system. But anyways, um, just a quick update. Work's been okay. I'm kind of slow, um, which is probably good for me right now. So um, last week, I had a massive... Uh, atrial fibrillation attack or whatever you want to call it it acted up and I had to go to two cardiologists and it was not fun um, it was very scary but anyways I am doing better knock on wood and um, but now I have a, bl a bunch of inflammation of cartilage, cartilage around the ribs and so I had to go get x-rays today and I'm constantly using the restroom. So yeah, something is, I think, going through me. And so yeah, we've got to get rid of that because I'm supposed to go out on a small vacation in about a week. And I'm super excited. I cannot wait. I've not gotten away on a vacation with my husband, it seems like, in forever. So anyways, um, if you're interested in me doing a kind of my job and showing you uh like the grand opening team things we got to participate in um and some of the things that i received let me know in the comments down below and i will be happy to share that with you um so anyways i'm gonna start i'm gonna go through items that i have slowly purchased um I have quite a few because again it's been months since I have filmed so some of these have been out for quite a while and you may not even care anymore about them and it's totally fine um, I'm going to go through them I am not going to swatch them I might swatch a couple of things here and there but it is going to be a you know kind of go through tell you how I liked it how I didn't like it things like that so Anyways, I'm going to start off with the MAC Electric Wonder Collection. So I did get the one of the iridescent powders. Um, I don't know why they call it an iridescent powder because it's more of a blush. Uh, it is really cheap and lightweight filling. There's like no weight to this compact. But however, the, the picture, the um, what am I looking for? Mm -hmm. Uh, the, well, this is beautiful. The compact is beautiful, but it feels cheap. It feels like a 99 cent store compact. Again, because there is no weight to it. But I do like the color. But it is really dry. I don't know how else to explain it. But it has got to be like the driest powder I've ever felt in my life. I'm wearing this right now on my cheeks. And it is pretty and this is in the shade Into Eternity. They had two. I only bought one. Then I got one of, oh, well, I got the face palette. Here's the packaging, the outer packaging. I love the packaging. And this is more hefty. It has a little weight to it. And it just, it looks like to me, lightning bolts going through it. Really super pretty. Again, this is the face palette. And then, so you get blushes, you get bronzer, highlighter. Um, I tend to swirl through both blushes together. And um, the highlighters are okay. But, um, and the bronzer isn't bad either. I, um, I'd i say out of the whole collection, this is probably by far my favorite piece. It's a face palette. And I believe it retails for 39 I don't know, it's been a while, so you can look it up on Mac. They still have it. And then this is the eyeshadow times 12 um, in Desert Lightning. Again, same packaging. 
and this feels the same way. I do like the plastic um, upside down. Um, it does feel more luxurious with the plastic. And then you open, have the plastic. I wish they wouldn't put these in there. I wish they'd just print the names underneath. It does have a full size mirror. So does the face palette, by the way. I got the ones with kind of the blues and I'm gonna show you why. These are just, they're like a deep navy blue, this one. And this one's like a more kind of a sheen. These are just beautiful. Um, so these kind of, for me, represent more of the standard single MAC eyeshadows. Uh, there's a lot of times I've bought palettes for MAC and they are absolutely horrible, horrible quality. They're a good hit and miss. Um, but I did like the quality of this. This color right here, you can see like shifts of color going through the blue. This is a gorgeous like all over lid color or lid topper. Um, I got this because the other one was a little just too more like, yes, I already have that in my collection type thing. So I do like it, but I don't like the price point on it. I think it was too steep and um, I wouldn't recommend it for price but the face palette absolutely so that's pretty much it for those I got two of the lipsticks um I got the naturalist I should have brought my glasses in a real neutral tone color again the packaging is just stunning and then I got life and sepia this one I'm not too big of a fan of it's too chocolatey looking for my lips um but it's it's okay it's it's all right i mean it is max liquid lipstick color i mean um standard quality so it is it is a good quality so i can't knock that um i just have so much i want to share with you and i'm dropping things i've been trying to be as organized in here as possible it's almost sometimes impossible Okay, so that is it for the Electric Wonder. Out of everything, I recommend the face palette for sure. Um, I'm trying to put things away as I go because this could just be an absolute wreck. Okay, I did do a video on the Jawbreaker palette the day I got it. I have a love-hate relationship with this palette on a seriously high level. I am going to be completely honest. I returned the first palette. Freaking that palette. I wanted to throw it through my window. So for this palette, like this color here in Soaked, all the pastels, um, just a ton of these colors, you have to like pack it on your lid. If you go to try and blend it out, it blends away the color. Um, I went and repurchased it because I'm like, I'm not gonna let this palette defeat me. And I have every one of Jeffree Star's palettes and I wanna keep that trend going. Um, I have made a couple of decent looks. I'd say the orange and the reds um, and this yellow shade here, which is like a pressed pigment and the orange work phenomenally. Um, of course, these the white and the lighter tone work just fine. This is a great uh, brow bone color. Uh, the pastels you really have to pack on. And the yellow in here, the yellow in here is so sheer, it's not even funny. I have a yellow in my Pac Man palette, I'm going to show you that blows this away. Um, and once you kind of blend, it just kind of blends away. Again, you've got to pack these on. And it takes a lot of time and a lot of patience. And um, so I do not think it is worth the price. And that is the first time I think I say that about Jeffree Star. I bought two of the liquid lipsticks out of the, pa or out of the collection. No, actually I bought three. I bought the nude one, um, which was not nude. It was more peach. And then I brought, I bought like the peachy one and the strawberry, returning them. Um, I, I have all of his lipsticks, well not all, but for the most part. And they're very drying along with Kylie's. But something about 
this collection they were overly drying and they showed every single line of my lips it looks like it looked like my lips were like cracking everywhere and i just i couldn't handle it so those i left returned um and i do have the mini jawbreaker palette i do say i love this palette i think this one performs way better i think it outperforms the larger palette by far I would highly recommend this any day over the big Jawbreaker palette. And for the price point, it's spot on. So all I have to say is if you're thinking about it, go with the smaller one because uh, it just, it's just way better. And then let's move on to the Lion King. So this is the Lion King collection. Uh, it's Sir John times Luminous. I've never heard of Luminous. Um, I was reading comments under the Tremu picture when they were about to release this collection and people were saying, oh, don't buy it because it's a pyramid scheme, blah, blah, blah. Well, who cares? Someone's going to make the money somehow. These are at Ulta as well. Um, it, I don't really care who's getting the money, if it's a pyramid scheme and they're going to work their way up. I don't care. Uh, they're not, the prices weren't any higher. And so it doesn't bother me one bit. This is the packaging. And this is the sculpting um, palette. Here is the actual palette. It is raised in some areas. It is at so the packaging is like a a plus i mean just stunning who doesn't want this this is gorgeous it has a big mirror in here and then it has seven or six sculpting shades i know you're getting a glare there we go it's better um and they these three cool tone that one that one that one work perfectly for my skin tone um these two right here might be a bit too dark I can use those as you know eyeshadows or what have you but I absolutely love this sculpting palette I just dip through these two and the third one and it just glides on perfectly I have absolutely no regrets buying this and then here is the can't wait to be queen eyeshadow palette and and it is feels it does feel weighty feels very luxurious and look at the photo i think that's supposed to be nala with the blue eyes i mean just oh my gosh packaging you know i think max should kind of pay attention to this because their aladdin collection was just not that great and packaging you put this next to the aladdin it's it's like going to the dollar store and then going to nordstrom that's basically what it is. They need they need to catch up to life and and I don't know. Anyways, this has the same big kind of mirror. Sorry about the reflection. And this is just a stunning palette. I can use this palette every day for work. I can go through all these colors and then I can put on like a you know one of these or one of these on my lid. And oh my gosh, beautiful, gorgeous. If you're even thinking of buying this collection, I'm gonna swatch these right here too. I I would I would do it. I absolutely love it. Look at those. And that's just just stunning. And that is one swatch. So, anyways, I again I don't care what company it is. Um, the the product is stunning. And it is a limited edition. Sorry about the fingerprints and the glare. Um, 12 piece eyeshadow palette distributed by Luminous Direct. Um, made in China. 0 0.057 ounces. 1.62 grams times 12 in there. Gorgeous. Oh my gosh. I, I don't even want to throw the carton away even though I know the inside is just as gorgeous. I just, I can't. It's just too beautiful. And then I did get the highlighter. This is absolutely stunning. It is raised in certain areas. It is a circle of life highlighter. And I really like it. Now it is 
very gold tone. So if you don't like a gold tone highlighter, but you can blend it in and it is just stunning. Absolutely gorgeous. So those are a definite hit, 100%. Moving things around as I go here. I don't want to make a huge mess. Go out, Genevieve. Okay, so here are the lippies. So I did get all four of the lippies. And this is Lion's Mane. And all around it, you have the eyes and the mane so beautiful this is such a gorgeous orange and then there's also like you know little slash marks going through it and i'll swatch that it's a beautiful orange great for the summer and it is magnetic which is awesome i love that this one is pounce this is a perfect nude. I've worn that a lot. Then we have this one. This is where I need my glasses, but they're my purse. <laughs> um, I can't read the name, but it is a deep red. Again, you have the eyes. This is a liquid matte. This is stunning. Beautiful. I've worn all these. I have to say, these are probably the most comfortable matte formula liquid lipsticks I have found in forever. I mean, they literally go on. They last forever. I'll wear them at work and I will eat like a light snack and it will still be there even through that. It's just gorgeous. And they're comfortable they're lightweight you don't feel like you're wearing lipstick let me put it that way and they are not drying like some of the other you know brands like jeffree star is super drying kylie is super drying but i still love them um except for his last ones i don't know what he did to the formula but for me it was just that way um anyways so these are in my top, top favorites. I wear them all the time. So that is the Lion King collection. Oh, wait. And then we have this. This is more of like a lip balm, like a lip balm tint. And mine broke. I don't know how. I can open it. I had to press it back down. And this is just like a lip balm tint. I haven't worn it that much, but it is just like... A lip mom with a tint of color it is not going to be long lasting i don't think it's worth the price but it came kind of with the eyeshadow palette so it was like a, a package deal type thing so it worked out so i got it anyways all the lipsticks are just amazing okay while we're in the lipstick category let's go through these this is obviously charlotte tilbury i did get four of them. I have Patsy Red Glowing Gen and Karina Star. Um, let's just say that the casing is, oh my gosh, mind-blowingly gorgeous. Gorgeous. Oh, they are so beautiful and the packaging is what got me. It suckered me in. I never usually pay that much for a lipstick and these got me. And I want one more. I want JK Rowling, um, if I said her name right. Um, so I'm going to swatch these real quick and then tell you my thoughts. This is Angel Alessandra. If I say it right, wonderful. If not, sorry. And again, none of these really have had a scent. The Lion King or none of them. I've had a scent or anything bothersome like that. This is going to be Glowing Gen. I will tell you right now, this is probably my favorite. Beautiful right there. Stunning. Um, this is Patsy Red. It's like got a blue undertone to it. Hope you can see that good. 
And then glowing or Karina Star. Look at that packaging. Oh my gosh. And these are um, the type that um, she's selling uh, replacement ones. So you can buy um, a new. Oh, and it even has a little lip imprint. Like when you run out, you can buy a replacement. So here's the thing. I wore, I've worn all of them. Um, they're beautiful, but they are very sheer, even if they are matte. Even if they say they're matte, some of them are matte, some of them are not. They don't last for shit. They don't last. And I, I want to get the J.K. Rowling one. I don't know why. I'm not going to do it right now because uh, I want to get the um, uh, Pat McGrath stuff coming out the um, foundation and I'm saving for our trip well I'm trying to because work has just been way off and on um, I wouldn't recommend spending the money on these I know for a fact I could find dupes if I went through all my lipsticks um, Colourpop um, I know I could find dupes that are so much cheaper. Yeah, you're not going to get this beautiful, stunning casing. I know that. But I just think that these are absolutely overhyped and way overpriced. So that is my take on these. I will use them, of course. Um, but I don't, I don't recommend it for the price and I have never been a big Charlotte Tilbury fan um, nothing against the brand but I just never tried anything that that really wowed me from her and those did not change my mind either and then I've been trying the damn girl from Too Faced mascara now it is kind of clumpy on the wand but I find if you go like that you kind of get it off I absolutely love this now, a lot of people have been comparing it to the Better Than Sex mascara. I never liked that mascara. Never saw what the big deal was. But this one, I love. It gives me volume and length. And I happen to really, really like this. So, I actually want to purchase a backup. But I'm going to wait. I'm trying to hold off on everything. Again, I have a trip coming up. And um, I have plenty of stuff so i could wait on that there's no there's no hurry okay then let's go over to the kkw um, beauty collection this was her skin collection i've had this for quite some time oh i never read the back of this but it gives you body collection tips and tricks apply a small amount of body makeup on dry clean or directly onto your KKW brush. I should try and read it, but um, okay. Anyways, I'm gonna tell you how I've been using it. So I got light medium color in the body foundation. I do like the way it makes me look like I've been tanned and out in the sun for a bit. And um, the only complaint I have is getting it spread out evenly and that it drips from here so you have to turn it this way to get it to quit from dripping but other than that i am surprisingly i am shocked how much i really like it then i got the color pearl in the skin body shimmer and i will show you this the other one looks just like a foundation this one has some shimmer and i'm gonna swatch it here so I put the foundation on like my arms and right here when I'm not working. And then I put this over it and I did get the brush. There was like a package deal. And I so I put this on the brush and then I rub it. And I really, really like it. I like to get more colors eventually, but I am not doing that right now. Just not going to do it. And then I got the color pearl to match in the loose powder. You can use this on your face or your body. And I absolutely love this. I mean, you want shimmer, you're gonna get shimmer. This is just stunning, stunning. Look at that on top of the pearl body I've already put down. It's just so gorgeous. 
it is messy i'm not gonna lie it won't be glittery for a while but it is totally completely worth it and um I'm surprised at how much I liked it. I was like thinking, you know, I don't know how this is going to go, but it is stunning. Uh, it blows away any of the liquid ones like the Patrick Ta I have on today. And I don't know if you can even see it. But, you know, this, when I put this on, oh my gosh, you can see me for days. Meaning from far away and all day long. Not literally for days because... I don't leave it on for days. I have to scrub it off in the shower. Um, I wore it to work one day and I said, too shimmery. So I have not done that again. And then I have the Beauty Blender Glass Glow Shine Lighter. And yeah, that is totally glaring, huh? I am not a fan of this. Um, if you put it under or over a highlighter it makes it crack so I I just think you have to use this by itself if you want to look like you're just like I'm just not a fan just not so that is a no-go in my book um, I have used it a few times tried it a few different ways but yeah okay then um, from Ofra I got a few things from, uh, if you watch Samantha March, um, I don't have everything in me because I was wearing one of the lipsticks yesterday, but I got the liquid drama proof eyeliner. I am wearing that today. Absolutely love it. So these, are, these were her favorites. I got two of the lip glosses. Um, I got the color apricot dream and then this is cherry mocha and these these are nice these are nice and then i did get the highlighter that she made um it is a liquid to baked formula it creates show stopping pigments that melt into the skin um so it is march beauty word and she combined two of the shades together and they are absolutely stunning i'm wearing them today and i love it and there they are so let's just swirl i can't remember the name of the two shades she can buy i don't want to mix it with that thought it would say on the box but i guess not but it is a stunning highlighter i absolutely love it and then I got this long lasting liquid lipstick because I can wear a red to work. I have not tried that yet, but I have tried the lip set she combined. Um, and I will say I kind of have mixed feelings about them. They are a little tacky and the tackiness for me really never goes away. So if you go, you feel the tackiness. But then again, they do last a long time. So I have kind of mixed feelings on that. I like it, but then I don't. So then we have some foundations. We have the Dose of Colors. Um, this is Meet Your Hue, vegan, cruelty free, talc free, paraben free, oil free, and fragrance free. Uh, shelf life is 12 months. It is cruelty free. Um, it is a lightweight medium to full coverage foundation that delivers a blurring effect which reduces the appearance of fine lines and imperfections. It comes in a beautiful frosted glass and I have had this now for at least a week. I ordered it and the shipping with dose is just phenomenal. Oh my gosh. Uh, they are on it. Um, I did get the color 116 light medium. Um, I think that I got the wrong undertone, which would be my fault. I had a hard time picking my shade. It has kind of a yellowish undertone. And so it comes off more yellow on me.
but I do like the finish. The finish is a very airbrush, smooth finish, but I just think it looks too yellow on me. I don't want to have to return it through the mail, so I have mixing, you know, different mixes I could use, so I'll probably do that. But the price, I believe, was $36, and I totally, 100% recommend that. And then I have the Benefit Flawless Brightening Foundation at number four. And this is the Hello Happy Happiness is a brighter, hydrated, flawless looking complexion, 12 hour long wear, medium coverage, liquid SPF 15 sunscreen. Um, this one was a little bit more, a couple dollars more, I don't remember, it might have been 37, 38. Um, this one I absolutely love. I was really blown away how much I like the coverage on this. Um, it is buildable and it just, it looks so lightweight, but then it is fully, just, it is full coverage. So I really enjoy that one as well. Right now I am wearing the Stay Naked by Urban Decay up to a 24 hour wear, which I will not be wearing it for 24 hours. Um, I just got it in the mail yesterday. It has a weird like cut out groove here feels very cheap plasticky um but as long as it performs i don't care this one i believe was 39 dollars. i did not buy the concealer i'm trying to use up the concealers i have um i got this in the shade 40 nn and i am wearing it right now um upon application i was not thrilled but it looks good on camera. You let me know what you guys think. And if you want to know my final verdict on it, I will let you know. I feel like it was maybe a kind of a lighter shade for me. But it again, my lighting and all that has an effect on everything. So, you know, just I never know. And then I got this. This is Signature Club A from HSN. And um, it is a Nerfetti, or Neferetti Golden Patina for Skin. It has a big mirror, and then this is stunning. And this is an all over face powder. I absolutely love this. I just stroll my brush through the whole thing, and then bam, gorgeous. And look how huge it is. I don't remember how much it is, you guys. Sorry, it's the Home Shopping Network. You can look that up. And again, it is Signature A Club. Then I'm going to try and move right along because I know this video is going to be so flipping long. Here's the thing. I went, I ordered the Kylie Summer Collection the day it released, which is over two weeks ago today. Um, I contacted them after about eight days and said, hey, you know, what's going on? Where's my order? Blah, blah, blah. Oh, yeah, it was like an automated thing. We're on it. Blah, blah, blah. Then when the 12th day went by, I'm like, hey, you know what, man? <laughs> Where's my order? And I've never waited this long. And they came back and said, oh, you know, we have high volume, this and that. I've ordered every one of her collections. Christmas, birthday, all her collections. I've never waited two weeks. So when I hit the two week mark, I said, hey, look, man, I just want my money back now because this is just ridiculous. And they said, we don't usually do that, but if you want your money back, then we will cancel your order and refund you your money. Um, I said, look, all I really wanted was uh, like some kind of a, a date of shipping um, because I really, really wanted the collection, but you can't give me that. So yeah, just, just give me my money back. So that happened. I ordered this the day it released, which was a Friday. I got it yesterday. So Friday to Wednesday, the KKW hot collection or so hot, whatever you call it. Um, Genevieve, go out. And so you talk about quick. It wasn't even a week and I got this. Here's the packaging. Stunning. Oh my gosh. I could not resist. I know. You might say, oh, it's, we've seen these colors before. Blah, blah, blah. Look at that. Even the inner carton has that photo. I love it. 
There is a mirror that goes all the way across and here are the shades. I am wearing this from I today and I love it. These blended so seamlessly. I can't even tell you how easily and quick my look came together. I love this shade right here. It's like a raspberry. The names are on the back, which are tiny, and I just don't know why they do that. Um, I use almost every shade in this palette, except for the gold, and they are all pigmented. I didn't use any setting spray, any cut crease, or anything like that. I just want to kind of get my look together because I got home late from x-rays and stuff. And uh, stunning. All I could say is stunning. Okay, then I got, I, I bought the package dill, so I got the, um, the glosses and the eyeliners. So there are three glosses, flammable, extinguish, and radiate. And I will show you them real quick. Uh, I'm keeping one of these. Look at that. Oh my God. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Here's the glosses. Oh yeah. Put my fingers in front. There you go. I am wearing this one right now, but I will tell you that the pigment does not last long. Goes on good. But as with any gloss, it does not last long. I will give you a swatch. It's a pretty orange, but it just, I hate to say it, but a gloss is a gloss. This is uh, Extinguish. But they are not tacky. They're not sticky in any way, shape, or form. They are very comfortable. Very, very comfortable. Her glosses are one of my favorite. And Radiate. She even comment, I commented in a trend mood. Um, I said I just bought the whole collection because I absolutely love her collections. This is more like a neutral color. And she um, liked it and put some flames under it. It was really cool. So um, I know it's probably not her personally, but you know, whatever. So anyways, um, now I'm going to show you the liners, which were intriguing to me because they're different colors. And so some liners that are like that, I cannot wear because they irritate my eye to the point where they water and it just completely comes off. Um, so I was hoping that was not the case with these. And so far, knock on wood, it's been good. So I have the color Coffee. It's a beautiful bronze. And then I have Copper. Sorry, I called it coffee. Oh my gosh. This is the color yellow gold. Right there. And then this is the color rust. And this is the one I'm wearing today. And it is not bothering my eye. It is more of like an orangey rustic color. I have it in my waterline right now. You can also use these to kind of draw like underneath here or even around um, like on her picture. On here she's got it like coming out right here. So anyways uh, I am in love with this collection you guys. Just stunning. Um, so then, last but not least, I think, uh, is the Pac-Man Wet n Wild. I did get the whole collection. Um, I don't know about you guys, but Pac-Man was a favorite of mine when I was growing up. It is from my era. There are pieces missing because I've been using the, these quite a bit. Uh, I'm going to give you my take on all of them. I will not throw away this packaging because it's too cute. Looks like you're ready to play the game. And then here. So here's the nail polishes and the two brushes were in there. I don't think I'll get used out of the nail polishes. I did have, I got 
I removed my gels because they kept breaking at work and chipping because I do, um, I don't know if you guys know what the droid building is, but I do do that. And I do build the droids a lot and I think that's where it comes into play where my uh, nails chip, they're already chipping. So I got the gel removed because I got tired of um, paying for the gel and then them not lasting, which isn't the, the place's fault where I get them done. It's, it's work and I had to face reality that uh, they're just not gonna uphold at work. So that's just the bottom line. So I'm gonna show you the brushes, um, if I can find them. Let's, let me see, here we go. So it is super cute, because if you go like this, and you have little Pac-Mans coming down, and I have been using them. I absolutely love this Packer brush for my lid right here. These are really good brushes. I am surprised it went mild. And they have upheld their prices for pretty fairly. Now this collection was a little bit much, but it's because it came with a lot. So you saw the nail polishes. I'll probably just give them to my granddaughter or if my daughter wants her to have them, but I, I won't use them. And then here are the little beads. So we have two. We have one that is a blush cheek and one that is a bronzer. Now I was surprised, so I use, they come with a little soft thing, and then there's the beads. I was like, I'm not gonna like these, it looks so cheap. But if you dip this in and then you bronze, they're they're pigmented. I mean, I'll show you a little bit on my, on my arm here, or my hand. They, they really uh, pack a punch. That didn't come off very well, but here. They really do. I mean, I use them a lot. I, I'm really shocked at how much I like them. And as for the packaging, the little cubicle, I love it, how it twists shut and it has the whole game in the front. Stunning, love it. And then here is the blush, Power Blush Pellets. These I use for a blush topper. So if I can scroll my finger through, I'll try and show you, it's a perfect blush topper stunning right on top of your blush gorgeous i keep these right here because i use them all the time that's why they're not in the box because they're like in my use section right there not to say i don't use everything but and then these came in there so we have a lip scrub and a lip balm as for the lip scrub I, well from one of the packaging is killer on this whole set lip scrub is like this a little apple green apple um it is kind of gooey, like when you go to apply it, it's kind of like gooey and it kind of doesn't break apart and like turn into a fine sugar. It kind of just like clumps up and I don't really like that. So I'm not really thrilled and it does have a apple smell, which I do like, but I'm not really thrilled with the gooeyness of it. Then the lip balm is just like the regular chapstick cherry lip balm smell. I had I was trying to pinpoint it the other day. I'm like, it's like your original. If you buy the lip, the chapstick lip balm in cherry, that's what this smells like. It smells really good. And I do like it for a lip balm. It has a small tint, but it is so cute. I keep these in my room um, because it's at night where I go for my lip scrubs, my lip balm. So here's the High Score Blush Palette. I've used this quite a few times. I usually swirl my brush through a couple of them depending on what shade I wanna go for. Pigmented and beautiful. Love it. Absolutely stunning. Again, I can't say enough about this packaging, you guys. Um, so stunning. So this is the eyeshadow set palette. I've used this several times. This middle yellow shade is absolutely pigmented. It doesn't look like it, I know. Swatches suck, people. Let me just tell you, because this yellow blows away the yellow in the Jawbreaker palette. And when I use this, 
and these shades, all of them, worked better than the Jawbreaker palette, and it was mind-blowing. This palette is 100% amazing. So worth the money. This has got to be the best eyeshadow palette I've tried from Wet n Wild ever, literally. And then we have the four lip glosses, and I love the lip gloss formula. They do have slight pigmentation, doesn't last too long, but they're very smooth. They're not tacky. And then the names represent the ghosts. This is Pinky. And then we have the blue one, which I have not opened. Um, and this is Inky. I probably won't use this uh, until Halloween or something. I don't know, but. And then we have Clyde. So cute. I've used this one a lot too. These are so comfortable. You, oh my gosh. I love these. I usually keep one in my bag. And last but not least, we have Blinky. And I'm surprised I haven't used this one yet. But I will. Totally will. So I think that's it for the Pac-Man collection. Yeah, the brushes. Brushes are A++. Look at that. If I had to recommend a couple of items out of this collection, I say the brushes, the palettes, and the glosses. Oh my gosh. Just, gosh, you guys, get this. Get this palette. So worth it. And the glosses. If you're not a gloss person, then skip that. But uh, the brushes are just so cute with all the little Pac-Mans in there. So I am in love with the Pac-Man set, absolutely 100%. Love it, love it, love it. And so that is pretty much it for um, my catching up. I'm trying to catch up. Um, sorry it's taking me so long, you guys. It's been a tough, rough road for me. I, I don't know what's going on, but, you know, life and uh, so... Yes, that is it. If you have any questions or comments about any of the products I showed you, leave it in the comment section below. Let me know if you've picked up any of these or if you're going to or if you're interested. As far as I'm concerned, the Kylie collection from this summer is just going to be a no-go for me. It'll be the first time I've missed her collection. But you know what? Oh, well. Um, I'm over it. But um, I, I am going to do my giveaway. I'm thinking of doing a challenge, um, a Disney challenge. Let me know in the comments below if you've gotten this far in the video. If you would want to participate in a Disney challenge, you guys do a Disney look and then I will pick a winner and that winner will win the Blue Blood, pa Blue Blood Palette. If I can say that right. Um, anyways, yeah, I'm so interested if you guys have gotten any of these items, how you feel about them. Let me know. And I hope to see you very soon, and I can't promise that I will. So I will do my best. Thank you for watching.